Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the embryology of neural tube, notochord, and the neural crest cells. Let us start with the neural tube. The neural tube is formed from folding of the neural plate. The neural plate is formed from the thickening of the surface ectoderm <coughs> by the induction of the notochord. This all happens during the third week of development. The neural tube has openings. It has two openings. One is anterior neuropore and another one is posterior neuropore. The anterior neuropore closes at 25th day, around 25th day, and the posterior neuropore closes around 27th day. The rostral or upper part or anterior part of the neural tube forms the brain, and the caudal lower part or the posterior part of the neural tube forms the brain stem and spinal cord. Okay, so we got that this is the neural plate. It is formed by the from the surface ectoderm. Then it folds. You'll get a neural groove here. Neural groove here will fold formation. So this is the neural plate, neural groove. Okay, and this is this happens due to the induction from the notochord. This is the notochord. Notochord is a Notochord is a mesodermal cylindrical block of cell which extends from the primitive node to the precordial plate. Okay, so by the influence of this, the surface ectoderm becomes neural plate. Neural plate is folded. Okay, and neural plate from surface ectoderm will get the the neural ectoderm, and that is. This, this all are happened by the induction of the notochord. There will be formation of the neural groove here and eventually neural tube. These two parts unite and this part from the upper part of the neural fold will get the neural crest cell. They will migrate in many directions and produce a lot of tissue and cells. <coughs> okay. So this is the anterior neuropore, this is the posterior neuropore. Anterior neuropore should be closed, so we have development of the brain. Posterior neuropore should be closed, so we should have an intact spinal cord and the brain stem. Okay, we got that. So we have to remember that failure of failure to close the anterior neuropore will cause anencephaly. The upper part of the head will be missing. The roof of the head, the vault of the skull is, will be missing. Failure to close the posterior neuropore causes spina bifida, meningocele, myelomeningocele, may even develop the spina bifida occult. Okay, we got that. So, we have the notochord, we have the neural plate from developed from surface ectoderm that become the neuroectoderm, then it folds. And folding will lead to neural groove and neural tube. And this part, upper part of the neural neural fold will, will be this cell will be separated out and will get the neural crest cell from here. It begins to migrate even the neural tube formation is not complete yet. So it starts migration in many directions to the cranium, to the trunk, to the skin, to the wall of the intestine many directions this cell, the neural crest cell will migrate. Okay, so we are seeing some neural tube defects. One is anencephaly. The brain is almost macerated, almost a huge part of the brain is missing. Brain stem is present here. So the baby will survive to the full term pregnancy, but once it is delivered, usually by C-section, the baby will die very soon, okay. Rarely it can survive, okay. The baby can survive, okay. This is the anencephaly. 
this is a neural tube defect maybe due to uh, folic acid deficiency due to unknown region okay so here another problem here the this is the uh, spina bifida open defect okay so this is also a problem due to the non closure or failure to closure the posterior or lower neuropole okay we got the neural tube defects notochord what is notochord as we just described is a cylindrical solid midline mesodermal tissue block which includes which induces the formation of neural tube okay from surface ectoderm to neural ectoderm to neural group then neural fold fold neural group and neural crest cell these all are induced by the notochord this is mesodermal tissue block notochord extend from the primitive node to the precordal plate okay if you go to the previous slide okay so we, we will go it extend this is this is the primitive node it will go underneath this and go to the precordal plate okay from where the mouth end will develop so we got the the not to cord here okay it extend from primitive node to the precordial plate anteriorly okay underneath this structure the notochord is a central axis of the body and is the signaling center for the axial skeleton development like the vertebral column vertebral body and the and uh, and other structure related to the vertebral body the notochord also forms the nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral disc then what is neural crest cell we have seen on the upper end of the neural fold neural crest cells are derived from the upper or crest part of the neural folds neural crest cell migrate in many direction and forms multiple structures okay then what are those structures derivative of neural crest cell we have two group of neural crest cell this is a just an arbitrary division but all of them are same neural crest cells from the cranial part the from the cranium from the cranial neural crest cells which go to the head and neck that forms neurocranium meninges pia mater arachnoid mater sensory ganglia of the cranial nerve like the ganglion of the trigeminal nerve autonomic ganglia of the head and neck like the parasympathetic ganglion sympathetic ganglion parasympathetic ganglion like otic ganglion submandibular ganglion pterygopalatin ganglion ciliary ganglion facial skeleton odontoplast that odontoblast that forms the dentin of the teeth c cell of the thyroid gland C cell is also called para follicular cells and also this neural care cell help in the it contribute in the formation of pharyngeal R skeleton and connective tissue okay trunk neural care cell derivatives are sensory ganglia autonomic ganglia adrenal medulla melanocyte swan cell enteric parasympathetic ganglia of the gut like myenteric plexus present between the longitudinal muscle layer and the smooth muscle layer of the intestine okay submucosal plexus okay these are mostly parasympathetic fiber derived from the neural crest cell if they are not developed if they don't migrate to the intestinal wall we will get congenital mega colon also called Hirschsprung's disease okay and that's all about the neural tube, notochord, and neural crest cells. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful, and blessed day. Bye now.